Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll continue with the stored procedure. So in the previous tutorial, I've already mentioned what is stored procedure and what are the parameters that are uh, like in what ways the parameters can be passed through the procedure. And as well, we have seen the syntax of the procedure. So here in this tutorial, we'll just see uh, a small example. Okay. So let me open up the SQL plus. So here. Already, I have a you know small uh, procedure program that I've already written. So, what it means, I'll just explain. So, as per our syntax, we started with create or replace, then procedure keyword, then followed by the procedure name. So, I've just given test underscore eg as my procedure name, then ease. So, whatever uh, whatever I said between this ease and begin, whatever is there, it's called as declarative section. So here you will be declare, declaring the variables or you will be declaring the cursor and all. So here I've given a cursor name C and that cursor what it's going to do is it's going to select E name from EMP. Okay. So that is what is between the is in the declarative section that is between these two. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is begin after begin I'm going to use a for loop so this is going to be a for loop cursor so I'm going to you know you know very well you sorry you, you guys must be knowing very well that whenever we are using for loop in our cursor that means uh, the cursor is automatically open and the variable is automatically declared and it's opened fetched and closed using this for loop so it's a very fastest um, way of um, using a cursor than using a um whatever the cursor like uh, normally opening and fetching those kind of things so you guys must be aware of all these things okay so i'm making use of a for loop so i'm just um, uh, using a variable called vnm in c c is nothing but our cursor name so automatically this vnm is declared by our for loop it's for for uh, well uh, declaring this for for loop itself then I'm looping and I'm just printing all the v, uh, e name of in the employee table. So you need to give it as vnm dot e name. Then end the loop and end the procedure. So this is what is about our procedure. Hope you guys understood this uh, procedure. So it's very simple. The program is not doing anything much than printing the employee names from the employee table. So that's what is about the program. So I'm just closing it and you can see. So let me run this procedure. You can see the procedure got created. So how to run this um, or execute this stored procedure? There are um, two ways to make use of this procedure. For the first way is either you are going to use this um, you know test dot and test underscore eg or your procedure name in other program within those procedure or within those packages or whatever that is one way of using the procedure stored procedure the second way is saying execute and give your execute or exec okay exact or simply say execute and give the procedure name if you give this automatically the procedure will get executed so you can see all the e-name of the employee tape employee table so that's what our procedure was doing so this is how you need need to execute your stored procedure so this is what is about uh, in this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll see how we can make use of the parameters like in out in out parameters so hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial and understanding and getting benefited from it um, please do keep sharing uh, my videos with your friends and family and keep supporting my video and like my video and if there are any queries then please do mail me i'll try to get back as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching